All right, just coming back, uh, part two of rad bio, rad safety stuff, with some terms that I think we need to memorize for ART. So LET and RBE, and then the LD5030. The LET and RBE are two different terms that are sort of similar, or they have um, a direct relationship. If one goes up, the other goes up. They go in the same direction. Linear energy transfer, or your LET, is the rate at which radiation energy is deposited in matter. A higher LET causes more biological harm. It's a measurement of the radiation quality, which is um, our penetrability, or our penetrating power of our X-ray. It's also related to the radiation weighting factor. Obviously, if the weighting factor goes up, it's more damaging also. Um, so as LET increases, it's less penetrating, more absorbed. And as LET increases, the cell survival rate decreases. Higher the LET, higher the biological damage. LET is greatest with alpha particles. We know because alpha weighting factor is much higher than X-ray. X-ray or diagnostic X-ray is gonna be a low LET. Your relative biological effectiveness, effectiveness or RBE is the ability of radiation to cause biological damage. It's affected by the type of radiation, the dose type and the tissue type. They go in the same direction. So as LET goes up, RBE also goes up. Okay, so they're both gonna go um, in the same way. LD5030, LD stands for lethal dose. It's the amount of whole body radiation dose necessary to kill 50% of the exposed population in a certain amount of days. So it's, if it's LD5030, it's 50% within 30 days, or LD5060, 50% in 60 days. The first number is always 50%. The second number is the amount of days. And for adult humans, it's estimated at three to four gray. So you can see um, the percentage dead is at 50, and the LD50 is over here in this range on, if it's on a curve. Um, but it's always 50% at the set, and the second number is the amount of days. All right, we're coming back for part three.